Another thing that I heard tonight, which hasn't really been talked about yet anyway, um, there were at least 10 people whose jobs are impacted or made available um, because the community media center continues to exist in the form that it is. And, and you know, the, 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 what was it, eat the fish folks, um, as well as, you know, the, the staff and the board for the CMC. Element. He, Dr. Manhattan, like, just had a different sense of time than normal people, though, too. He was, he was just, his is transcendence more than um, multiplication. Yeah, I guess so. That's what I would argue. And she could tell he was distracted, too. That's true. Oh. We're rolling. Yeah, welcome to the Dono Show. This is the Dono Show. We have puppet hands today. So, I guess this uh, one thing that the, the sort of elephant in the room that I should bring up, I know all of you people at home are probably thinking, I've heard that the media center is going to go down, and that means I won't ever have to watch the donor show anymore. Let me tell you, that's not true. <laughs> if you let the media center go down, then the only thing that, that, that we'll have the resources to make will be the Dono Show. <laughs> and we will do a lot more of it. The Dono Show is going to fucking go viral, and you're going to go to work on Monday, and that asshole who always said, I'm Rick James, bitch, he's going to be quoting us. Okay? That is what's going to happen if this media center goes down. Well, now, we make a quality television product, and if the media center can continue, we can continue to focus on that. <laughs> um, I agree. I, I like how your politics are all like in the form of a threat, though. You know, it's like <laughs> well, that's what politics are. It's, it's, it's a bunch of politics are threats. Yeah. I believe the last time, before this last, you know, this recent time, when I went to the um, the uh, the city council, I told them that they had um, shut down Norton's mental health facility, and, and now they're gonna try and um, you know. Uh, take away the CMC and they told them that if they take away my mental health care and my artistic avenue that I'm going to lose it. Oh, you told them that? Yeah. And then yeah. before that... Was that the that, last one or was before that... Before that, when I went to city council when they had the meeting at uh, um, like around the jailhouse or something, um, I went to that one and uh, they were shutting down Norton <laughs> or, or Oakcrest, and they're like, uh, uh, you know, we're gonna shut this down. I'm like, if if you shut down this place, <laughs> I'm gonna have nowhere to go, <laughs> and I'm gonna lose it. In so many words. <laughs> and so they did that, and now they're doing this. And so you're I'm just out of ideas. You're in. Yeah. You're, you're basically in this position where no, you're becoming the boy who cried. I'm gonna go crazy. <laughs> No, but we need more idle threats from our schizophrenic cohorts. I, mean, I think that's just what we need. City Council needs to hear idle like, threats every know, week. I'm <laughs> they do already. <laughs> I mean, they need more of them. I just tell them, you know, I'm the kind of guy that, like, sits there and, 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 and reads the phone book. Well, yeah, no, I, I mean, I told them I'd, like, move, and I'm probably not moving. Like, it's, it's one of those things, like, idle threats is one of those things. Everybody we all made, them. we all said certain things and made <laughs> certain idle threats, and, <laughs> I mean... I've, I've got my eye pretty firmly on Petaluma, I'm, I'm thinking Petaluma. Actually, Josh, I think you avoided any idle threats whatsoever in your entire presentation. Man... But in a lot of ways, I'm not, or whatever. you know, I mean, I, I'm where I'm at, and I'm fighting to not have to think about Petaluma, because, I mean, we don't even know what Petaluma has. I want this to be, you know, what I've got. Yeah, yeah I like Santa Rosa more than Petaluma. I mean, Petaluma has, like, 
Petaluma may have more character, and Petaluma may have like a, a, a more compact um, downtown scene with breweries and venues. San, yeah, San Rose is up and, and coming. So I'm on, on that page. Maybe I should hold off on putting down Santa Rosa oh. until something until you know they close down their media you know center. What, then I can. Do you know what else Petaluma has? I like has? Santa Rosa. Traffic issues. They're like shutting down every other piece of sidewalk, so you have to do like this just to walk <laughs> anywhere. And they also have uh, uh, a lot of people who get hit by cars. A lot of little kids just getting run over, hit and runs. Nothing really being done about that. Drunk um, drivers, races, hit and, and hit and um, runs are actually ridiculous uh, in Santa Rosa too. Actually, they're yeah. they're just kind of bad in uh, yeah uh, in the, the Bay Area, area yeah. in general. Like there was actually a string of hit and you know cars hitting people and 90% of these cars hitting people incidences were blamed on the person like the pedestrian walking like that's just well, how they even get reported. to be fair to be fair like when I pulled into this parking lot there was like a bunch of Santa Rosa <laughs> I kids like sitting in the driveway having a picnic I mean you know, the fact is, I mean, I hope those kids don't get hit, yeah. but I also hope that if they do get hit, nobody gets in too much trouble. <laughs> you know, that's all I'm saying. But Michael, I, I, I mean, I, I think you're just falling into very typical Santa Rosa thing where it's like this, I'm a driver, I'm mad about potholes. Pedestrians and bicyclists. I, no, 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 it's no, like, no, 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 that, no. That's always I'm like a douchey I'm not complaining thought. about people. I'm not complaining about um, the pavement corroding, although that's not exactly desirable, or people riding on bikes, or people walking in the street. However, people sitting down and having a nice picnic lunch in the middle of the street, yes. Fuck that shit. Yeah. I mean, seriously. There's also the there's also the, the mentality in Sonoma. Yeah, yeah. There's also the mentality sure. in Sonoma County that I don't have anything to do and I'm taking it nice and slow and I feel like I'm a really good person because I'm taking it nice and slow. Like I read about in the the book that Oprah recommended and I want to get in everybody else's way so that everybody else has to take it nice and slow so that they can be enlightened just like me. I I think the nice and slow thing might be more apropos for Sebastopol, but as a pedestrian man, Santa Rosa people drive like asses. Oh, I'm, that's I'm true. almost getting hit all the fucking time. Fuck Cars. Yeah, yeah. I fuck Sarah. No, I've, I've, I've straight like pounded on windows as they've almost clipped me. Oh, I've and done I'm just that. like waiting for them to get out of their car, but they don't because they're wusses. I've done that. Oh, I also had another one that I did one time in Santa Rosa that like there was a guy. A there was a guy who almost hit me, and I actually <laughs> would be a little ashamed and uncomfortable to make what would amount to a deposition or confession in this venue as to what followed. <laughs> it was, well, it was you not, know. it was not that, all right, now I made it sound really bad. Uh, but, I'm gonna leave I names mean, out. Uh, let's just say less than $100 in damage. Let's just kinda, let's just, let's just leave the whole thing at that. <laughs> I think you're making the story up. Um, you I heard this story, Josh. Maybe. Um, You've heard the real version. Yeah, I, of this story. I heard the re okay. It's I make it, it. It sounds so much more it's spectacular than it actually that's, is. That's how it goes. Okay. No, it's it. No, it's it's one of those things where I say less than a hundred dollars. It's one of those things where it's like, it's twenty. No, 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 no. <laughs> it would seem like twenty, but it's actually when you think about it, it's it's actually uh, something that's fairly expensive. Uh, that's like more expensive than you'd think. Well, like a fender? Um, paint job. Oh, oh, yeah. See, that's what I always wanted to do is like, I always wanted to be like, because I like, I like Fago, you know? Well, you know what and, happened and while I'm confessing things on TV is like I was in an intersection and this person pulled partway into the intersection and then they kind of stopped and they realized they weren't going to make it. And while I was going behind them, they were backing up and they almost 
got really too close to kind of squeezing me in between their bumper and the last guy's bumper. And I was just like, fuck you. And then they said, and, and then they said, what are you going to do? And you see, here's the thing. What are you going to do could have been interpreted two different ways in this case. <laughs> what are you going to do could have been like a say la vie kind of thing. I'm like, sorry. I'm sorry. I, I mean, you, did I you do? see what happened? I couldn't really do anything uh, else. I'm sorry. It also could have been, what, what are you going to do, do, you bro? little shit? I got a truck. I got a fucking truck. You're on foot. What the fuck are you going to do to me? That's how I interpreted it when I slid some keys in between my fingers and did a little Wolverine stroke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> and, did and you say then snakes? and this is why it's never a good idea to fuck with pedestrians. Then I disappeared <laughs> into the nearest I'm, I, I don't want to put a location to this because I'm getting way too specific but I disappeared into the nearest <coughs> sort of green space there was nothing there was nothing they couldn't find parking to chase me down yeah <laughs> if they were really angry so like, they could have left the car this, is, this made my mother <laughs> crack up but like I, I said you know, I almost got clipped by this 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 there's this one van, this green van that sticks out in my memory that I pounded on. And I always want, because this happens to me a lot. And um, I, I always, I, I drink Fago, right? And play Fago is, is not only delicious, it comes in a glass bottle. So I always wanted to have one of those. And to have someone, especially because they give me so much energy, you know, I don't know what it is about their sugars, but like, uh, you know, just have someone uh, about to cut me off and just go, break it on their car and just hold it there just hold it in place because I don't have to I'm not moving you are and you can't hit the brakes fast enough to stop the damage that's going to happen to your car and then you're going to get out of your car and be like what the and realize I'm already holding a glass bottle man I might even be partially bleeding out of my hands and I just don't give a fuck anymore you know so just sit 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 you know and there goes your tires there goes your escape route now where are you going to go <laughs> you see, I started this. I feel bad because I started this, and well, then someone else, or no, someone passed it for Michael me. Michael simply and then just letting the car driving population of Santa Rosa know we will fuck you up. I mean, whatever. I don't care. Like, <laughs> if that's the story I'll Steve take and Michael are myself. telling, that's fine. Yeah. I haven't actually like f fucked up a car yet, but I've thought about it a million times. I know, I know someone who also remained nameless because of their identity, and they're also semi-famous, but um, when people box him in to where he can't get into his car, this guy, okay, this guy, this guy has a record deal, okay? He can get a whole new car if he wants. He doesn't drive a fancy one, but he can get a whole fancy one if he wanted, so fixing up his little shitty car is not that hard. So what he'll do is, oh, you box me in? Okay, well, I'm just gonna open my door. Oh, it didn't open. I'm gonna open it again. No, 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 hold on. I gotta like, hold on, make some space. And he'll just start putting his heel into your car and just dent your whole side in and then just keep pulling his car out until his fucking door fits. Whoa. And then he'll leave. So think about that, you know. Also, while we're on, while we're on, while we're on, like, uh, uh, while while we're giving advice to asshole motorists, if you cut off a bike, I don't care if you're. If, I mean, if you you know, if you like you know, like really make a bike like almost die or something like that, I don't care if you're a professional athlete. You're gonna have to stop eventually, and even if you're a fucking professional athlete, they are warmed up, and they all carry bike locks that will go through your windshield. They <laughs> will fuck you up. Like oh, really, even if you're <laughs> like, even if thing. you're a, even if you're a yeah, basketball dude. player or something like that, you've too, been sitting on your ass press, for the last dude, half yeah. hour. Josh. You need to calm down hour. because nothing entertaining is going to happen if you just shoot things down all the time. <laughs> <laughs> this is the goddamn don't know show. There's no well, Isaac Bale threats. Well, actually, try shooting things down all the time can in and of itself be entertaining. Uh -huh. But, yeah, there's, there's, you know, it's, uh, it's, 
be, having a car is an incredibly, I, I don't want to put down cars because cars are great and having one is incredibly convenient and all of that, but it's a luxury and it's not a sphere of invulnerability. <laughs> Yeah. It's it's a it's actually a huge liability and it's worth it for a lot of people in a lot of places at a lot of times but you know don't think that everything needs to get uh, you know that that uh, that um that the road system is designed so that everybody can move uh, aside for you that the road then don't uh, get frustrated that everybody doesn't dart around with your sense of efficiency and uh, and uh, not worry about little things like... Just tell them to think twice about bike locks. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the concise it. thing. All I want to say is when an object is moving at X amount of speed and has to come to a sudden stop, the impact of which is like, you know, triplified when you hit the windshield, so, you know... Don't don't make me have to make you stop. Well, and realistically, I've oh, that's something been that hit on my bike twice by cars, both inside of crossing lanes, both of me having the right of way, and each time the person driving gets out and tries to blame me, and it's it, every time has been very frustrating for me. Where it was like, I I know I wasn't at fault absolutely knew I wasn't at fault either time and yet there's this motorist I'm never wrong thing that I've definitely faced way too often yeah I had this woman almost kill me and then she was like stop. she came to a stop and she was really mad that she had to come to a stop and she's screaming at me but as she's screaming at me I'm looking at her and she's on her cell phone well you know here's another liability and it was for a right motorists turn. is if you piss somebody off you know, it was something that was actually brought up at the uh, city council meeting that we were just at. A lot of people got recording devices. 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 You should pedestrians. Say that three more times. <laughs> pedestrians. <laughs> Unless you've got some high tech facial actually... recognition technology, pedestrians are anonymous. But you Cars. Know are not. You know, Michael, I, I have, I, there was a guy who makes like the, uh, who, who used to be around here, made the rave show here, who um, was at a protest and he was videotaping the protest and um, the protest was, um, I feel like it was in a crosswalk, right? Um, and well, that's kind of dumb, actually. They, I, you, it, they were crossing the street. It was a it was a yeah, sanctioned you know, protest. You yeah. know, it wasn't like this thing. They had permits and they stuff. They had permits, right? <laughs> I know. Michael, it, what this ca- the it's person a story. this person was holding a video camera standing, holding a video camera, right? And this chick was driving and going, "Oh my God, these people! Are, I have to get to work." Hits him. And continues to drive him down Mendocino. And he's on the hood of this car as she's driving down Mendocino for way too long. And he's got the video camera and he's shooting her. And, you know, eventually she pulls over. The cop pulls them both over. And the cop basically just, you know, was like, screw you, you protester with the video camera. (laughs) She obviously had every right away. You shouldn't have been protesting. 